I guess would he take us through uh, that that final play against Auburn, kind of what you guys saw pre-snap, and then what it was like uh, getting the game-winning touchdown? Uh, we saw um, they had light box, um, so really I wanted the ball in my hands, so it's like a top player should want the ball in his hands. So I felt like I should get the ball in my hands. So when he gave it, he scored, and it's just from there, it's just on. Were you surprised they were showing a, a light box first and goal up to five? I wasn't really surprised. Uh, they gave it to us, and we just checked it. We had made a good check and ran it in. What was that kind of like? I mean, after all the emotions, the up and down of that game, to, to get the game winner and you know, kind of get that reaction from your teammates, the crowd, and everyone else? Uh, just going home with the W, not going home sad with the L. So that was just really big for me. I guess what was the mentality for you guys? I mean, you're, you're up big, and then, you know, Arbor comes back, takes the lead. I guess what's the mentality in those last few minutes, you know, getting the game tight and field goal and then going to overtime? Don't fold. That's it. Don't fold. Like, they came back, they made some good plays. We swanted some plays, but don't fold. You're a product of Carver High School. I know you're from the state of Georgia. What, what does it mean this week to have an opportunity to play, maybe against some guys you played against in high school, but the home state school of Georgia? Uh, it's just like every week. I got a team to face. No matter, I know people from everywhere around the world. So just happy to be here at Mississippi State and play with these guys who I'm with right now. You were here a few years ago when you know Mississippi State competed in that game at Georgia. I guess what do you remember, you know, from that game? And you know, th does it help, I guess, mentally to know that you can compete with a team like that? Uh, we compete with anybody in the country, so that's really it. Can you learn anything from that? You know, kind of looking back at that. You know, you guys, I guess, had less than 50 scholarship players. You had to go on the road, and and you probably should have won the ball game. I mean, you know, so does that give you confidence for this year? Oh, uh, yeah, I have. I think everybody we have confidence every game, so. They just build from over time, time to time. We have building confidence. The fact that the running game has struggled the last couple of games, but in crunch time, they still went to the running game and made it work. Does that give you uh, more reason to think that we can make the run game work the rest of the season? It's going to work. For sure, it's going to work. The year got too. I mean, you guess this opportunity you guys have against Georgia, I mean, if you pull off a win this week, it could create absolute chaos in college football. I mean, do you think about those things, or do you just kind of see it as another week? Uh, I just see it as another week. I really don't get into all that. What was it like to walk off the field after that crazy game the other night with the win? Oh, it was awesome. Uh, it was awesome just being able to see the fans and, and see how happy your team uh, uh, your team is. You know, it's amazing. And then uh, for me, you know, being from Alabama and growing up an Auburn fan, it was always, you know, a dream to to play with or play against. So to be able to get a victory was uh, was awesome. As frustrating as it was for it to have to be so tight at the end after Dominic early, what can this team take away from making plays offense, defense, kicking at the very end to win a game like that? Uh, I think it's just the the fact of just not quitting. I mean, I mean we we jumped on them early in the game, and then we came out second half. We came out flat. I mean, it's just as simple as that. Came out flat on all sides of the ball, defense, mm -hmm. offense, and on the special team. So for us to, you know never give up and just say, you know, we'll come out flat, but we got to pick it up now. I mean, that, that's that's huge for this team. And that's that's just, uh, this is proven to what these coaches have instilled into us. So it's good time. What's it like for you guys, I guess, seeing a player who's been around now a few years and Woody Marks getting a game win touchdown there? Oh, I was happy for him, man. I mean, I, I remember, I don't even think I saw him the field, if I remember correctly. I think I went straight to Woody. Because, I mean, I, just, I know how hard Woody works. I know I know the dedication dedication he has for this, for this team and for this university. And, for his craft, so just to see somebody that that works very hard every single day, get the opportunity and, and be able to make a big play in a big situation like that in the SEC West game, I mean it was, I mean it's hard not to be happy for a guy like that. And another team in Emmanuel Ford is getting a lot of national attention mm -hmm. and you know for some awards. I guess what's it like playing alongside him? What makes him so good there at corner? It's awesome. Uh, I feel like everybody sees how athletic he is, how gifted he is, but I feel like the most underrated part about him is is really how smart the guy is. I mean. I mean, there's times on the field where we make eye contact and we know exactly what each other's doing. Our, our communication skills and our, our trust in each other is always there. He knows what's coming before the ball is snapped. I think that's one of his biggest attributes that people don't really see uh, every game and, and people don't really mention as much. I think. You've seen a lot of mobile quarterbacks this year, too, and you're going to see another really good one this week. But maybe not the fastest guy, but a guy that's really crafty, kind of picks his spots. What are your thoughts about Stetson Bennett and this Georgia offense? Uh, I mean, I think they are, they're as advertised. I mean, Stetson Bennett, I mean, <laughs> he won that championship last year, man. That's it's, it's, it's hard to do. I mean, the guy's, uh, he's sneaky athletic. I mean, he'll go out there and he'll stretch you up with his feet. 
But then, I mean, they don't call him mailman for no reason. I mean, he, he's got a great arm. He pissed on the money. He's got some great receivers to throw it to and stuff like that. Uh, they're a complete offense. I mean, we got to go out there and we got to uh, respect them, but uh, we can't fear them. You mentioned those lapses. Have y'all identified anything that's kind of behind those lapses in games? Uh, honestly, I think we just got to come out of the locker room with, with more energy, mm -hmm. come out with more urgency. Uh, I feel like sometimes we come out, you know, we got a big lead. We think we can just cruise through the rest of the game, you know, try not to exert too much energy. But, you know, when you when you play in the SEC, I mean, no team is bad. I mean, the record doesn't really explain to you how good and how bad teams are in SEC because, I mean, we're, you're playing top, top – you're playing top five teams every single week. So, I mean, you know, Auburn is a, is a, is a good team. I mean, I mean, their record might not show up, but Auburn's a good team, I mean, as we saw last night. Tulu is special teams player of the week. Is it the point now that you're just sitting there going, please kick it to Tulu? I mean, you oh, covered him in practice, you cover him in defense, things like that. The guy's a playmaker. Absolutely. I mean, I feel like anyway, Tulu can get his hands on the ball. There's an opportunity for him to take it to the house. So, I mean, just to, when we see the ball going ahead and it's, and it's deep enough for Tulu to get it, I mean, it's, a, it's, it's definitely a, a happy feeling, I'll tell you that. We kind of remember going up against Georgia two seasons ago. Obviously, you guys were down a lot of players that can be still, you know, competed with them. Yeah, yeah, no. I mean, the, the main thing I remember is real physical. I mean, we're, we're both two teams that have pride ourselves off being physical and, you know, playing hard-nosed defense and, and stuff like that. So, uh, we know it's, it's going to be the same as that thing this year. We just got to we got to go into our stadium at night and, and play hard and play to the last of uh, the whole 60 minutes of extra of extra. What makes this team so much better at home than, than playing anywhere else? Uh, I feel like our fans are like any other, uh, like no other. I mean, I think they're just, they're, they're one of one. I mean, the, the fact that they stayed in the rain the other night throughout halftime and, and cheered us on the victory, even through the highs and the lows, was, was a big key to our success. I mean, being able to walk into Davis Wade and, and know you got those cowbells on your side, I mean, it's a, it's a good feeling for sure.